Coming up on Pick a Puppy, the Crechian family are looking for a mixed breed for their son, Julian. Hold on tight. But is Julian ready to accept the responsibility of caring for a new puppy? I'm Beverly Mahood. Now today on Pick a Puppy, we're meeting with the Cretchen family. That's Don, Julie, and their son, Julian. Now the Cretchens are considering three mixed breeds today, the Cockapoo, the Miniature Labradoodles, and the Shishon. So let's see which puppy they fall in love with. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Don. And we're the Cretchen family with their son, Julian. Julian is an amazing kid. He's very happy and we really felt that uh, having a dog and taking it for walks, he would meet people, as well as teaching responsibility. Don, Julian, and Julie, thank you so much for inviting me into your house. This house is incredible. We bought the house about a year and a half ago. How does it feel to be in a new home? Really nice, lots of room. I want to get to know you guys a little more. Tell me a little bit about your family. I own a corporate communications firm, and Don is a First Nations illustrator. I work from home, so I kind of take care of Julian when he comes home from school also. We do homework together. So does that make you feel like you want a new addition to your family as well? We think it's time for a puppy. Mm -hmm. And whose idea was this puppy? Yeah, something told me it was <laughs> your idea. How old are you, Julian? Nine. You're nine. He's got a friend that has a dog and he likes to play with that dog. So you want a puppy that's that's playful then, right? Yes. So you're going to have a dog that's going to be playing and walking. So what kind of dog are you looking for? That's where we have a difference of opinion. I'm kind of looking for a smaller dog, like a cockapoo or something like that. I'd like sort of a mid-sized dog for like the cottage, a dog that would retrieve a stick or a ball. Or... And do you have any clue what you kind of dog no. you want? I'll know when I see it. <laughs> um, we do know we want a crossbreed. We understand that, that they're calmer that way. Uh, we like the idea of it being crossed with a poodle because they don't shed that much. And uh, Julian's going to be taking care of the dog most of the time, so really his vote is the vote, I guess. You know, you got a pretty important job here. Do you understand? Okay, so how about we send you guys off to find that perfect puppy for you guys, and then I'll see you at the end. Sounds great. Right. First up, the Cretchian family will be visiting Glenn and Christine to check out a litter of cockapoos. Now, these dogs are hybrids and combine the sweet personality of the cocker spaniel with the low shedding nature of the poodle, so the result, a bright, loving dog that barely sheds. I'm Glenn Ray. I'm Christine Nelson. And, and we, we breed, breed cockapoos. cockapoos. Big Red, he's loving, he's friendly. If you're in a bad mood, you just have to walk by him and he puts a smile on your face no matter what it is. Oh, hey! Hi, hi. hi. We got into breeding dogs, it was kind of by accident. We were actually prepping for them to be uh, fixed. We were just a little too late. <laughs> so how many cockapoos do you have? We have eight. Eight. Eight, yeah, it's her second litter. She had seven, it was a couple of years ago. Uh, we have more girls this litter. We're looking for a girl. Yeah. 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 Why is it you're looking for a female dog? Oh. Um, my dad said <laughs> once females are smarter than males. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's a Cocker Spaniel, black and white. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like spotty or a tuxedo? Just tuxedo. Oh, tuxedo, yeah. yeah. And dad is a poodle. His name's Big Red, but don't let his name fool you. Would you like to uh, see uh, the dad? Big Red the Cocker Spaniel, or is it the Poodle? No, he's, uh, he's he, the Poodle. He's, he's the, the Poodle. poodle. Yeah. We'd love to well, see sure, him. Sure, yes. yeah, yeah. I want to see this. Oh, oh look at the dog. Oh, he's smaller than I thought for a Big yeah, a, Red. A, oh, oh look there. at that. Wonder if he can make Big Red dance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good job. <laughs> So uh, tell us, how did you start um, yeah. breeding cockapoos? Well, it was kind of by a mistake. They are both uh, dogs were ready to, uh, we had them scheduled to get spaded and neutered. And uh, well, things happen. You know, we're not professionals. I only go by what I read. 
with what people have said, that how happy they are with them, it's just, well, we'll do this again. And uh, yeah. it was, it was yeah. a really rewarding experience. It, yeah, to find a good families that want a puppy. Hey, Big Red, you are such a good looking dog. Do you want to see the puppies? Oh, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Oh, thank oh, you. Let's hang on. Don't. And how old are these again? They're, they're five weeks. Five weeks. Yes. Aww. So the, this is a girl. They're, they're all girls. girls. They're oh, all these girls. are all girls. Wow. There's one more girl. <laughs> She's more like mom because of the white on oh, her yeah. chest. Tuxedo. See, I yes. didn't even know that term. Tuxedo is yes. white. Yeah. White on the white on the front. God, how do you pick? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Take all four. <laughs> <laughs> how much? Do you need to walk them per day? One. Once or twice a day, or even in the backyard. You can throw a ball, as long as you can keep throwing it, you'll go get it. They're a good breed for a fun family. and. Oh, that's Ooh. great. Girls, they're all girls. Ooh. Look at them. <laughs> Why do you like that one there, Julian? Because it stays in the same spot. <laughs> what do you think about names for them? Um, maybe Pixel. Where'd you get Pixel from? Last night, Dad wrote down a list of good names. <laughs> of all the names. Okay, give them kisses, buddy. We gotta go see two more um, other sets of puppies. But why can't we just keep this one now? Oh, it was really great to meet with this family, uh, and I really hope they uh, they liked our puppies. They seem like a great, uh, great family and be good for our puppy as well. We got to see the puppies and probably would be totally happy taking one of them home right now. And the name fits with it really well. Yes. What's the name again, Julian? Pixel. Pixel. What was really nice about today is the family we just saw, they're not traditional breeders. It feels right, it feels like these puppies should be going into a home like their home is and our home is like that. <laughs> Oh my heart, are those puppies ever cute? You know, the Cretchen family really seemed to connect with a couple of those puppies. I wouldn't be surprised if they each took one home. So stay tuned, we're just getting started. The Cretchen family still have to see the adorable Shishans and the wonderful miniature Labradoodles. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. It's kind of hard. I know, <laughs> just say pu puppies and they'll come. Puppies! Puppies! puppies. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. The Cretchians have been looking for a new puppy that will become a member of their family. Now first of all, they visited the lovely and the adorable cockapoo puppies. Now were they the perfect match for them? We won't know until they visit the Shishans and the miniature Labradoodles. Now the miniature Labradoodle is a cross between a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle and was first bred in Australia and is about half the size of a typical Labradoodle. My name is Karen and uh, our farm is Springgate Meadows. We breed uh, miniature horses and the miniature Labradoodles. So how did you start breeding Labradoodles? Well, that's a really interesting story. It's not the usual one. We, we ended up rescuing some pups. Uh, we used to have a pet store and a client came and said that they needed some help with uh, five puppies and we decided to rescue them. We placed four out of the five and um, we ended up with one. Wow, rescue dog. <laughs> uh, is the mother on site? Can we see her? Oh yeah, the sure, sure. I'd love to show you the mom. Tinker, Tinker, come here. Tinker, Tinker, come on. Very good girl. There you go, see? How obedient can you get? <laughs> yeah, she's a very good girl. Likes to have lots of exercise, loves people. Can we see the puppies? Of Would that course, be possible? yes. You I'd see love the to show too? you. Yes, I want to see the puppies. Well, let's head out and see them then. Let's go. For us as a family, when we first started researching it, we didn't want a, a purebred. Not you know? a show dog. No. Just no. a f nice family dog. Yeah, that really fits in with us. And then we find out that that mom is a rescue dog, but its temperament is absolutely perfect. Perfect for kids. That's the most important thing for us. Hey, hey Julian? Correct. Did you... <laughs> Come on, Tink. <laughs> wow. All the miniatures stay in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Here's oh, the puppies. Oh, Julian, do you so want to go in and you can oh, see them? Aren't they cute? Oh, puppies. Oh, Come here, puppies. Oh. Now is a good time to get in there before they come over. That's it. 
pick them up like this and take them in your arm and put one hand under the bottom. Ooh, I like that one. There Let me see. Go. Is this one a female or a male? Uh, that's a boy. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> little heart Can you get them okay? Don't there you look go. Look at the color. Just hold on tight. <laughs> Is this one a girl? That one's a girl. This one's a girl, and that one's a girl over there. Take you... the little one. Jim. That's the one I like. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, grab it. It's kind of hard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just say pu puppies, and they'll come puppies. Puppies. Over the place, isn't it? <laughs> They're adorable. Oh, so well, soft. Yeah, well, let's go out, and you can see them out in the sunlight. Come on, Tink. Come on. Good girl. Oh, they're so cute. So Aren't they cute? cute. And they seem so relaxed as soon as we pick them up. Yep, yep. Okay. There you wow. go. So who's going to look after this dog? Is it going to be you, Julian? Um, maybe a half of the time. Yeah. So even though she's a rescue dog, yeah. her temperament is great. Like yes. she's yeah. yeah, she's a really good mother to the pups. Yeah, she's very trusting. That. And the father? Of yeah, the, the father is a black miniature poodle. His name is Bear. Uh, we live in a century home. We have a good size backyard. Not only would they be playing in the backyard, you'd be taking them out for walks lots, so that would provide lots of exercise. We're a one lot. block away from a park, actually. Oh, perfect. Yeah. It's cute. Mm -hmm. She's a kissy oh, one. So how old are these puppies? Are they ready to go? Or well, they're not the quite ready to go. We like them to be with the mum for the eight weeks so oh, they can socialize. <laughs> yeah, we like the, uh, the mother. Great composure. Yeah. yeah, and it's just nice that she was a rescue dog, too. It, it yeah. is, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much for having us and showing us your beautiful puppies. Oh, it's yes, going to be tough. tough. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that probably the first set of puppies you see, you're going to fall in love with them and, and go home with them. But we wanted to do more investigation, make sure we find the right puppy for our family. I'm really happy with this couple that came. I think they're a wonderful couple and I think they connected quite well with our puppies. So I'm really, really hoping that they'll want to pick one of our puppies. What a really cool place. Karen really knows her dogs and that barn, what a great place for a puppy to grow up. Now the Kretchians have some hard choices to make, but first they have to visit one more litter of puppies and that's the Shishans. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. Wow, it's so tiny. <laughs> They're so soft. Welcome back everyone to Pick a Puppy. Now so far in their search for a puppy, the Kretschians have checked out the Cockapoo and the Miniature Labradoodle. Both are fantastic, low-shedding family dogs and everybody seems so excited about them. But it's not over yet because they still have to visit Michelle's super cute Shishans. Now the Shishan is a mix between two toy breeds, the Bichon and the Shih Tzu. They're delightful social dogs that love to be a part of everything their family does. My name's Michelle and I have an animal pet care business. Just the joy of seeing people experience the moment where they get a new puppy and hearing how the dog has changed their lives and brought them together as a family, they're such a joy that that's what I wanted to bring to other people. Hi guys, I'm Hi Michelle. Dad. Hi Michelle, I'm Julie. Nice to meet you. I'm Julian. And I'm Don. Hi Don. How are you doing? When looking for a puppy, you should always take into consideration your lifestyle. So if you have an active life, find a dog that can keep up with you, or if you like something that's just gonna cuddle and be your companion, then research a breed that's suitable to you. What's your favorite thing about having a pet? Being to play with it. As long as it's playful. Yes. So playful, happy dog. What is a Shishan? A Shishan is a mix between a Shih Tzu and a Bichon Frise. How big do they grow? They grow about 10 to 12 pounds, so about the size of an average house cat. You think oh, you could handle that? Do you want to see the puppies now? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll yes. go get them and I'll be right back. So what do you think, Julian? A smaller dog than what we've looked at so far? This would be the smallest one. Of the group that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, I think that we need to find a dog that Julian is comfortable with. It's a big responsibility, so we want him to feel really comfortable with that decision. 
Wow. Oh, one for you? That one's bigger. And then we got this little girl. Wow, it's so tiny. <laughs> They're so soft. That one's pretty active, Julian. Here, you want to swap here? Yes, please. <laughs> That's cool. We're checking out all the smells. Whoa. Whoa. Well, they like to run around the house, that they're ready to go for a walk whenever you're ready. They're, they're really cool. playful. They really want to run around. <laughs> so what do you think, Julian? Is there any that you're really fond of? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> they're all really perfect, so. Aww. Oh, oh, we have to play, Julian. Here we are visiting our third set of puppies. They're all very different. They're all very beautiful. In this one here, it's nice that you don't have to walk it, that a big backyard would be enough for it. If you guys think a Shishan's right for your family, I just want you to know that these girls are now available and ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've already lost Get over a couple, here. Come on. The family really enjoyed our puppies, and Julian connected with one of them. I hope they take one home as a new addition to their family. It's going to be a tough decision, for sure. I still really like the cockapoos, so it's going to be tough. Yeah, and I like the, um, the larger dog. Was it Labradoodle? What do you think, Julian? I like these ones, actually. I think uh, it's time for us to have a family meeting. and Which we're gonna... we never have. <laughs> First time ever, people. <laughs> okay, well, we will have a family meeting because this is a big decision. Oh my, the Shishans are so sweet. You know, I have no idea what puppy the Kretchans are going to pick. They have three choices though, cute, cute, and uh, oh yeah, cute. But don't worry, we'll find out what puppy they picked and why after the break. Coming up on Pick a Puppy. We had a family meeting. Yep, we, we figured it all out. Was it a long meeting, Julian? Welcome back, everyone, to Pick a Puppy. Now the Kretchians have been looking for the perfect puppy for their family. They visited three fantastic breeders and their puppies. First, the Cockapoo, then the Miniature Labradoodle, and finally, the Shishan. So what puppy are they going to choose? Let's find out. Okay, so here we are again. Tell me all about it. Well, we got to go see three breeders. What did you like about the Cockapoos? It was great because they had mom and dad were on site and they had quite a variety of colors. You could sort of imagine what they were going to be like. Uh, they also, this was the second litter, so they had history and was able to tell us about other dogs that they had. At the end, I'd have to say they were my favorite. Okay, so Cockapoo on to the, was it a mini Labradoodle? Yes. yes, mini Labradoodle, and that was the farm with the miniature horses. Mini Labradoodles on a farm, born in a barn with haystacks rolling around. Kind of seems perfect. It, it was perfect. You liked that one. Yeah, that was the best of all of them so far. Why yeah, was that so. your favorite so far? Um, it was more of a cottage kind of dog, like I was saying before. Um, something that an owl wouldn't just swoop down and carry <laughs> off. Um, nice. Yeah, that's important with <laughs> yes. any dog. <laughs> yeah, and it had the lab part in it, so I guess it's a swimmer also. So what did you think, Julian? What do you think of these Labradoodles? They're nice, but I don't really have a connection. Last but not least, we saw a Shishan. And we didn't know what a Shishan was until we went there. Yeah, we were we knew about the mini Labradoodles and we knew about Cockapoos, but we were open. We wanted to check it out. And then we got there and they were... Pretty darn cute. Pretty darn cute. What did you think of them, Julian? Good. They were good, yeah. eh? Good. They were pretty cute. How did we decide? What was making it difficult? because everybody liked a different dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was there a big family discussion? We had a family meeting. Yep, and we, we figured it all out. Was it a long meeting, Julian? Oh, so Not small. Why was it just a small meeting? Was it easy? It went fast. It went fast. Because did you decide? Did you get to have the last say? <laughs> and why is that? Just because you're gonna be taking care of the dog, isn't it? And it's your responsibility. You want to keep me waiting, don't you? <laughs> Go get me the puppy. <laughs> Is the puppy coming? Oh, where's the puppy? Hello, oh, little babies. Oh, so cute. Oh, wow. In the end, we
we decided to go with the dog that Julian felt the most attachment to. Yeah. He got the breed he wanted, we picked the colors. Mm -hmm. So who is this? Eco. Eco? How did, how did you get that name? On the ride home, we were throwing names out, and we hemmed and hawed, and then Eco came out, and we all went, yeah. She's pretty special. Oh, she's perfect. We take her for walks, and it takes so long because we're stopped by everybody on the street. What do they say, Julian? Well, you know, since you guys are the first time with, with a new puppy, our good friends at PetSmart have given you guys a gift card. Oh, wow. So you can go there, bring Eco, check out everything they have from leashes to food to anything you need. Are you guys happy with this little, little girl? She's right. already fitting in and everybody loves her. Love her. We've well, met so many people in the neighborhood just because we've got a puppy now. See, that's good. It's it kind of like good. babies, you know, children and puppies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It all works. So what do you think? Should we go for a walk? Yeah. 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 Let's, let's let's go meet the neighbors. Oh, we'll meet them all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching another episode of Pick a Puppy. Special thanks to all our breeders in the Cretchian family for letting us come along on this journey with them. To find out more about the show or how to be a part of it, visit us on cmt.ca or check us out on Facebook. We love your pictures, your puppy stories, so keep them coming. And for now, I'm Beverly Mahood. Hi, Pick a Puppy. Thanks for helping us find Eco. We love her so much. As you can see over here. <laughs> Eco. Come here. <laughs> Bye.